Education Cabinet Secretary Professor George Magoha says politicians suggesting that the competency-based curriculum should be recalled after the general election are mistaken and ill-intentioned against the more than 6 million children under the system. Now, for weeks now, Ford, Kenya and ANC parties have proposed scrapping the system should the DP Ruto-led Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance win the presidential election in August. But just what is at stake and what makes CBC an election issue? Sam Gituku reports. Education CS Professor George Magoha has been inspecting ongoing construction of new classrooms that should accommodate the first class of junior secondary in January 2023. At the moment, the Pioneer CBC class is in grade 5 and should transition to grade 6 in May of this year. That class should complete their primary education by December, meaning they will be joining junior secondary in January 2023. At the same time, learners who will sit their KCPE in December 2022 will also transition to Form 1 in secondary schools. Estimates show that the secondary school learner population will in January next year rise from 4.3 million to 6 million. It is on this basis that the government has been putting up the additional classrooms. They are yet to be equipped with desks, with the accompanying infrastructure yet to be acquired. The political class weighing in on what has become an extra load for parents in meeting the needs of their children under the new curriculum. <laughs> The ANC party led by Musala Mudavadi has declared CBC will be scrapped, saying it was hurriedly implemented without wide and genuine consultations with stakeholders and that the new system is a big burden and an academic frustration to Kenyan parents. But the CS will hear none of it. You, you can back out there, but you are not going to take a grade 6 child back to standard 1 to start preparing for KCP. The country is not going, the mothers are not going to allow you. Who do you think you are? Before we open our mouths to say things which don't make any sense, think about it first. At the moment, the government is implementing a plan to have junior secondary schools domiciled in the existing secondary schools. This will mean children who are on average 12 years old will be in the same school with older teenagers. But the minister says there are some primary schools with excess capacity that will be allowed to accommodate the grade 7 and 8 learners. Question is, who will teach junior secondary school learners? Should they proceed to current secondary schools? Are the serving teachers aligned with the CBC system and the content of two grades lower? Are they enough? For those that remain in the primary schools, will their existing teachers be allowed to tutor them? Will there be excess manpower at the primary schools once Standard 7 and 8 fade out? If yes, where will they go? There has been a tussle between primary school head teachers and those at secondary schools over where junior secondary schools should reside. If you think, and I, I'm sure you can think, you will know why they want it to remain where they want it. And I will not, I will not tell you because you are intelligent enough to know why. <laughs> And with a political transition beckoning, who will secure the interests of learners who by then will have invested over six years of their young lives in a totally different system? I'm serving the president because he's the commander-in-chief of the country, isn't it? When his term ends, I shall end it with him. What happens after that, should that be my business? No. That's God's business. Or do you want to give me his wisdom to answer you? <laughs> the government is at the moment putting up 6,400 classrooms at secondary schools. Most of them are different stages of completion. This is against a demand for 20,000 extra classrooms, with the government hoping to construct at least 10,000 by the end of Kenyatta's tenure. There are just over 10,000 secondary schools in the country against nearly 30,000 primary schools. The work is on to measure if the new classrooms will be sufficient capacity for the expanded needs. Sam Gitukus, Resident TV, Nairobi.